Behind the scenes If you can't like you in entertainment Actors, models, artists, producers, directors, dancers Watch Behind the Scenes Shine, 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 make you under Not let them hold you You wonder Not let them tell you say No, not let them hold you down Oh no you have the green light to go into UK Nigerian entertainment. Let behind the scenes guide you. Tell me why it be so. Tell me why it be. Oh yeah, go. Tell me why it be so. Tell me why it be. Oh yeah, go. Tell me why it be so. Tell me why it be. Oh yeah, go. Tell me why it be so. Tell me why it be. Oh yeah. Everybody, 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 everybody do it all wrong. Behind the scenes. Her name's Coco. Hi Coco, Hi. welcome. How are you? Yeah, good. Great. Yeah. So tell me, is Coco, is that your full name? Is that a stage name? What's your full name? Oh, well, my full name is Coco Shawshank, but stage name it's Coco Trey Couture. It's oh. a bit of a mouthful, but yeah. Yeah, so where, where did you come up with the Trey Couture? Well, when I used to go out a lot, people just used to call me chocolate. Okay. okay. And you know, I used to know, you know, we take pride in our appearances as yeah, females, so I'll always, you know, make it effort in going out and the worst nightmare is going to a club and everyone's wearing the same outfit. So I used yeah. to just, you know, make sure, you know, I know a lot of people that'll just make things for me. Yeah. So then could you all kind of jump into it and then it was chocolate. chocolate. <laughs> you know, and then somewhere down the line I Googled it and I realised it's actually a jewelry company I thought okay. Mm -hmm. So if I'm gonna make a name for myself I was like the next Paris Hilton or something, I might get sued, so I better just keep it as my name as in, alright, let's just do Coco Couture. Yeah. And it just grew on me, yeah. Wow, which I think is very high fashion, Couture, Trey yeah. Couture, I yeah. love it, definitely. Well, we know that you are a model, so tell me, how did you get into the modelling scene? Oh gosh, I guess you could say it found me. Oh, kind of thing. Okay. Yeah, I was just, um, I was out a lot for a while with my girls and I always got, um, you know, approached by photographers. It's UK Nigerian Entertainment. Tell me, what, what was the inspiration? How did you get into um, the modelling scene? Um, I, I suppose you could say it found me, really. Um, I used to go out a lot um, to, like, you know, special events, club yeah. events, and a lot of photographers would approach me with their cards. And then one day I just decided to give them a call and a test shoot and it turned out well. And so you just took that opportunity just for, oh, we've got lots of cards here. Yeah, it was something like that, as in, okay, they're seeing something, let me just see what, let me try and see what they're seeing. Yeah. Why be so, tell me why be, oh yeah, go. Tell me why be so, tell me why be, oh yeah, go. Tell me why be. Doing modelling, going out there in front of quite a lot of people, yeah. striking new stuff, it's quite you've got to have some sort of confidence as well. I mean, prior to that, had you ever been to like a modelling show before where you viewed and watched models and what you said? Hmm. The closest I would get to a modeling show was watching Next Top Model on TV. Which I absolutely love. I was just, <laughs> I was just the complete opposite. I was just, you know, nine to five office girl, didn't, you know, think of anything. Wow, that's quite yeah. a contrast from like working in the office nine to five to now. What do be so tell me why he be? Oh yeah, go tell me. He dropped it like his heart. So tell me why he be? Oh yeah, go. What would you say that you're most proud of in terms of like what you've achieved as a model? So far, I think it's just something from within me because I think what made me still around today is when at the time it's a lot of self growth that I was going through as well, so it's hence the confidence and everything. So I think I'm, I'm shining from within happily, so I, I'm, I think it's kind of radiating yeah. out of here. Yeah. So what do, you, what do you do if you get a knockback or if you get quite a negative, you know, negative feedback to you? What do you do? How do you pick yourself up? I don't, I don't take it personal, I just say it as it's just not the look that they're looking for right now it, it doesn't phase me you know it, it happens even with a normal job we're going to get knocked back so yeah you know yeah. if anything it's just best to make yourself marketable so if you know if you do get knocked back it's because they're not looking for mm. my my complexion or my height rather than 
it's because I don't look right because then that alone will be a failure within myself. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you're quite confident. Yeah, you got your hair, I've got you've wings. got your head screwed on, so you know what I you know. know what you want. Yeah. But what's also fantastic about you is that you're also a model coach. Yes. So you're on the front line, but you're also there coaching others in terms of you know how to become a successful model themselves. And, yeah. I mean, how did how did you get from doing modelling? also going into model coaching as well. I actually applied for something that, you know, it was, it was kind of like a sales pitch, like, do you have what it takes to teach others? <laughs> so I applied for it until I realised it was actually for the London School of Modelling. So I just That's Googled it and everything. Deal. It was a big deal and it was a great experience. So I was working with them for quite a long time. And How long was she working with It was them? like a year, a year and a half um, intensively. So I got to work with all different kinds of people, people that I could still learn from. Yeah. Know, never know enough compared to people that even breathe modelling or want to be a model or someone that's just trying to just stick their toe in the water yeah. and see how it works out. What was the most difficult uh, experience being a model coach? What would you say what was the most difficult experience that you've gone through? As a model coach? Time? Yeah. Oh gosh, well. Um, oh, I think, what would you quite surprised by? I think the most difficult experience for me would be Kind of teaching someone, you know, and I always ask their background, like, okay, why are you here, whatever, whatever, and they'll be like, oh, I'm trained to be a nurse, and they are actually willing to give it up if I tell them right now that they have it. You want to see where it all happens? We're taking you behind the scenes. So tell me, I mean, with the Afro scene really hitting the UK quite hard, yeah. um, have you seen the differences in terms of models that are within the Afro scene now? What differences can you really see? I think it's a, oh, I think it's a great thing that you know somewhere like Africa is so big and it's actually bringing the community a lot tighter because I know when I first started that there was a lot of controversy you know with the whole colour thing and you know people be upset you know if, if it's you know if it's a black music there's why is there Caucasian models and then I think mm -hmm. but the African scene it kind of opens up to everybody in this room for everyone not just a model look it's appreciating all beautiful sizes of body types one. as well yeah and I think it's really made it so appropriate for anyone yeah to just join in and keep it positive I mean with the afro scene being really large in the UK do you feel yeah. like it's made it also a lot easier for you know new up-and-coming models like, such as yourself to really break into the scene as well definitely definitely I think since it's also come out I think a lot of African designs have stepped forward mm. where you know now African print is now out on the runway for London That's Fashion Week this year, it is so great to see people like Tyson Beckford and people yes. like that really <laughs> bringing out the true roots of Africa and you know all complexions of all nations of everyone. So I think it's a great thing, That's and brilliant. I can truly support that. Definitely. So would you definitely be? Do you definitely see yourself going to Africa, different parts of Africa, and really like showcasing what you can do there and like helping? And, and further young ladies that really want to break into the modern Absolutely, yeah. that, that's actually my biggest fan base is okay. mostly from Africa, especially Nigeria. I get models inboxing on Facebook and really? you know, I get so much love, I just feel like, oh my gosh, they think I'm tired of like, you know, so much opportunity and you know, they, they've got so little to start with yeah. and compared to us, you know, We've got everything, so mm. I will definitely take time out. Do you see yourself as a little bit of a role model? Because I do. I feel like a big sister to them as well, and I feel so great to be accepted. You know, even though I'm classed as, you know, the Caribbean, you know, everyone's from Africa, that's why it's called the motherland. So, you I know, like the barriers that. are broken down, so I can definitely why it be so? Tell me why it be. Oh yeah, go. Tell me why it be so. Tell me why it be. Oh yeah, go. The industry is still very, very tough at the moment. And what kind of person who wants to be a model? What kind of attributes should they have? Should they carry? It's definitely self-drive, very strong spirit. It's very thick. You know, you can't go in there second guessing yourself because people are there. To, to tear you down. It could be models you're working with, competitive judges, people that you're promoting for work. Have you experienced that yourself? I have, but at the same time, I'm, I was ready. It's a, it's a learning curve, and you, you, you live and learn. You yeah. live and learn it. It's a tough game, but the rewards are definitely worth it. And I feel, I feel it's kind of like an etiquette step of stone as well. You do learn so much from modeling. It's not all, all about the glamorous things. It is hard work, but the overall look, and you look back and you see what you've produced, it's a beautiful thing and it just makes you want more. Yeah. But you are enjoying it. I'm loving it. So there's nothing you would change? Nah. 
No, oh, everything yeah. happens. Everything happens for a reason. Yeah. 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 Well, Coco, you're definitely doing your thing. You're paving yeah. the way for us um, African ladies and females in general. Yeah. Um, that's obviously joining the Afro um, scene. So, again, you know, we just wish you the best of luck. I'm Thank sure. You that we'll see you in the future doing many, many more things, both in the UK and Africa. So I just want to thank you for coming here today. And I wish you, I wish you the best of luck. Behind the scenes, it's UK Nigerian entertainment. Tell me why he be so, tell me why he be, oh yeah go. Tell me why he be so, tell me why he be, oh yeah go. Tell me why he be so, tell me why he be. Shake